Good day, guys. Today is week five, day three. I'm out here outside my house because today we're going to train a little bit differently. The goal for today is just to work on small things, small things that I need to work on. For example, stretching. Needed to do some deep stretching for a lot of different muscles. And then also I need to work on my knees. There's one exercise I've got planned out for my knees. Inspired by the knees over toes guy. Shout out to knees over toes guy. And then also I have a exercise planned out for my tendons in particular. So those two exercises are the main things I want to get done but also I think in this video we're going to train our abs because that's another small thing that we need to get done on a regular basis okay shoes are on now so let's head down got a little bit of a different setup today testing out the good old hat plus microphone combination I think I'm going to use this instead of clipping the microphone onto my shirt from now on because when I clipped it onto my shirt, the sweat would get down onto the microphone and it's a good thing I had the fluffy thing to protect the microphone from the sweat and also it will be coming in handy today since it's pretty windy. Alright, so here's the deal. We've got this. Uh, I'm pretty sure you use this for heavy loads. For example, you want to hook this end onto something that needs to pull somehow. We're going to use that to hook onto the tire. And then we're going to walk backwards up and down the street with this tire. Just to hit the good old fashioned... VMO, also known as the teardrop muscle for the quad. So, here I have it hooked on, and then I'm going to wrap it around my waist, like this, and tie it loosely. Looks like we got some bad news. I think my microphone was being interfered by the radio inside that car coming. Just trying to make it secure enough to walk up and down the street yeah let's get to it up there man we'll stop there for now neighbors dogs are definitely not happy oh you know what I felt that in my left leg way more than my right and I was trying trying my best to make that right leg work wow Ah, oh, it is intense. Alright, let's go for round two. Crazy, I didn't even have to walk all the way up the street. I only used half the street. Okay. Let's get it. Got to readjust.
Ouch. Oh. 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 Ouch. It has to go down like that. That's tough, man. Some of you may have seen people walk backwards on treadmills before. This is pretty much the same thing, same purpose. Got to get the VMO firing. And if we can do that and train up the VMO, then there will be a lot better control of the patella when I run and do anything athletic. And that should help with the knee pain. I'm pretty annoyed though because my left leg is feeling a lot more fatigued than my right. For those of you who did not know, my left leg is fine, but my right leg has gone through a couple of surgeries because of my ACL. I've torn it twice and it's quite all right now. But the thing is, I haven't gone back to rugby yet. So I don't know how strong it is or how much it can take. That's why we got to do some prehab or sort of rehab still but now we're at the stage where we want to avoid anything happening in the future hence prehab i think i'm going to do one more yeah one more seems like the dogs have calmed down after this then we'll get into some stretches Sorry if you couldn't see what I was doing this whole time. There we go. Sorry about that. It burns. Ah, it burns. Ah, ah. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully you saw what I did that time. I only did it three times, and I'm gassed. Look at the clouds. Wow, we my mouth is so dry. Oh, but well, I'm pretty happy that we can do that exercise here at home. That's nice. Next up, got to train the tendons, the patella tendons. All right, here on the grass, got a few mats underneath me. We're going to do what's called reverse Nordics. Uh, at least that's what I think they're called. So I'll show you how it's done. Get up on your knees and then you slowly lean back as far as you can and as slowly as you can. And then you come back upright. We'll go for 10, 10 reps. Why does the brightness keep on changing? Okay. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
nine. Ten. So, with that last rep, I pointed my toes because I wanted to see what the difference would be. It turns out, even though I feel it more in the tendons, in a good way, I actually start to cramp up in my calves when I do that. That's why I changed to this position. <laughs> On the balls of my feet. Kind of annoying how this left VMO was doing most of the work when I was pulling the tire. I think it's because I wasn't fully straightening my right as I walked backwards. Oh man, got a bit of sweat on the fluffy thing. All right, let's get our next set done. This time, going in between the flat foot and the up on the balls of my feet. Just somewhere in between, see how that goes. Ah! Nah, I'd rather, I'd rather choose one of them. Okay, I definitely like having my foot flat on the ground better. But it's just that my calves cramp up when I do that. Also got to remember that you don't want to overtrain your tendons. You only need to do enough to stimulate growth. But then you also need to give it a lot more time to rest and recover. More so than with muscles. So make sure you rest up your tendons if you train them directly. All right, last set. Oosh. Oh. Okay, time to stretch. I just don't know where to put the camera. Okay, first up, the hammies, the good old hammies. So this is so this is actually the way that my physio told me to stretch my hamstrings. You want to reach forward, hands to your feet, while keeping your knee bent, and then the stretch happens when you straighten your leg. And just hold that. That's what I'm going to do for both legs. I can either hold these for extra long or do multiple sets of these stretches. My hamstrings are very tight. But it's strange because my right leg, right hamstring is looser than my left. Actually, that makes sense because over the years, my left leg has had to do all the work. So that's the one that ended up getting tight. Well, this one is loose and weak, just like my glute medius, the same situation, loose and weak, whereas the other one is tight and stronger. Switch over.
I just thought of something. While we're working on the small things today, there's one exercise that I can do, and that's balance. You know, just stand on one leg, close your eyes, and then do that. Just try to stay standing for 30 seconds and work on that a few times. It's important because if you work on proprioception, then you can pretty much fine tune all your ligaments and muscles to do the job they're supposed to do when you're not thinking. With this stretch, this version of the hamstring stretch, I definitely feel the stretch right in the middle of the hamstring. And then when I stand up, I feel it at the back, right where the hamstring originates. But I think when I do the traditional one with the straight leg, yeah, I definitely feel it just above the knee. Next up, quads. I think after the after doing both quads, I'll move on to my glutes. So then we will, we will have done hamstrings, quads, and then glutes. After that, there's a few other stretches that I can do for the smaller muscles, like the TFL. But then I also want to do a stretch for the QL in my back. So we can actually hit the TFL and QL at the same time. But we'll do that after the glutes. Rightio. Next on the list. Here we are stretching our glute max. This is what it looks like from the side. And the other side. You want to make it more intense? Just lean forward. Ouch. All right. Other side. That's enough. Before I lie down to do my glute medius, I'm just going to hit the adductors. I mean, not the adductors. I mean the groin. Let me show you. You can see this leg goes further down than my right leg. All right, let's do glute medius. Oh my goodness, left side is so tight. But with my right, I didn't even feel any stretch at all. Next up is that QL stretch while hitting the TFL. The side that you're stretching, that leg has to go out straight while the other leg bends over and you keep your body propped up with your, with your arm and you should feel that stretch in the side. All right, work our way back down. Do some adductors on the other side. Okay. Now we're going to go below the knee. So we'll do the anterior tibialis. On the other side. Not only is this doing your anterior tibialis, but it's also working your foot a lot more, at least for me. Okay, go this way. And now for the calves. My calves are definitely something I need to train more. What else do I need to train more? Mm. My chest. I never train my chest. The thing is, every time it's leg day, I do my quads, do my hamstrings and glutes, and then I'm so tired, I just want to go home, you know, I don't want to go, to, I don't want to do my calves after all that, but we have to start doing it. Next on the list, let's see, we did hamstrings, quads, glutes, plus extra stuff, adductors, and then everything under the knee. 
everything below the knee. So well, I'm not gonna worry about upper body today. Today is all about the legs. Plus abs. That's all we need to do. Abs. I've got my laptop. Gonna follow a ab workout on YouTube. Okay, that's that exercise. What's next? Okay. Oh my gosh. My hip flexors are already tired. We've got 30 seconds rest now. Let me tell you, I haven't trained my abs in a long time. This workout's supposed to be five or six minutes. Whew. Gotta try our best. <laughs> Canoe crunch. I struggle to do this one where I keep my feet off the ground the whole time. So that brings us to the end of today's home session. Got a few things done, worked on some small things. And the important thing is that we got some work in. And that means today we have finished our bare minimum. Three days in our week. If it weren't for my back pain, I would have gone on some more runs. Thankfully the back pain has gone down, but I missed out on a few days yesterday and the day before where I could have trained. Moving forward, let's hope we can get some more training done. We'll see how we go, but otherwise, happy with this week. Finally got to show you the rugby club. If you missed those videos, or that video, because we smashed two of the trainings into one video. If you missed that video, go check it out, and stay tuned for more. I'll see you next week.